Mr. Chief Justice, and may it please the Court. In 1996, Congress made an offense relating to obstruction of justice an aggravated felony for purposes of the Immigration and Nationality Act. At the time it did so, the phrase obstruction of justice was understood to include crimes that occurred when a proceeding or investigation was not currently pending. The wheels of justice can be obstructed even before they begin to move. Indeed, one of the best ways to obstruct an investigation or proceeding is to ensure that it never starts in the first place. My friends on the other side say that only 14 states plus D.C. even punished obstruction of justice in 1996, and that Congress meant to limit obstruction of justice to a catch-all offense in the Federal Criminal Code that includes a pending proceeding requirement. But by 1996, Congress had added other obstruction of justice offenses without any such limitation, and it had expressly disavowed such a limit in 1982 when creating the principal federal witness and evidence tampering statute, 18 U.S.C. 1512. Also by 1996, case law, dictionaries, leading commentators, and the model penal code had all recognized that the kinds of offenses at issue in these two cases, accessory after the fact and witness tampering, involved obstruction of justice, even when the elements of the offense did not require there to be a pending investigation or proceeding at the time of the offense conduct. This Court should hold that the Ninth Circuit erred in concluding otherwise. I welcome the Court's questions. Uh, Mr. Gannon, could you give us a straightforward definition of uh, obstruction of justice? We agree with the definitions on page 23 of our brief from legal dictionaries that obstruction of justice involves willfully interfering with the process of justice. And the Board here said that the offenses at issue are the category that have as an affirmative act that includes a specific intent to interfere with the process of justice and law. So you give a wide range of, uh, of evidence. You talk about Blackstone as well as Chapter 73. Do you think all the crimes listed there are obstruction of justice crimes? We think that they're obstruction of justice crimes if they have the specific intent to interfere with an investigation. Now, we don't think that the investigation has to have already come into existence. It can be a future investigation. In a retaliation case, it can be a past investigation. But we think that it, it does, um, in, in most circumstances, going to require there to be a nexus. In all circumstances, there'll need to be a nexus to a particular investigation or proceeding that could come about. Uh, but that comes through the specific intent to interfere with the process of justice and law. It doesn't need to already be in, in existence at the time the conduct occurs. 